of La Jolla Country Day School and the Eagles of Santa Fe Christian High School. The CIF supports the highest ideal of good sportsmanship and fair play and the pursuit of victory with honor. We ask that in supporting your school and its young athletes, you remember to applaud their efforts and do nothing to discredit their opponents. We thank you for your support of interscholastic athletics and join with you in acknowledging the dedication and hard work of all our young men and women who compete in the CIF. At this time, ladies and gentlemen, introducing the starting laps for your Division IV championship. First for the Eagles of Santa Fe Christian, number eight, Dustin McBride. Number nine, Mac Rogers. Number two, John Corison. Number six, Alex Peltier. Number 11, Brian Fritz. Number 13, Jeff Robertson. Number 10, David Myers. Number three, Ben Corison. Number 18, Brendan Resch. Number seven, Greg Wright. And starting in goal, Justin Kern. The head coach of the Eagles is Paul Lyons. And now, the starting lineup for the Tories of La Jolla Country Day School. Starting it forward, a senior number 23, Badoin Gautier. In the midfield, a senior number 18, John Buza. In the midfield, a senior number 17, Garth Houston. In the midfield, a senior number 16, Mark Jordan. In the midfield, a senior number 13, Eli Sumek. <laughs> On defense, a sophomore, number 12, Jesse Kobernick. <laughs> At forward, a senior, number 10, John Hillman. In the midfield, a senior, number nine, Mark Laskevich. <laughs> On defense, a junior, number six, Taylor Allen Lee. <laughs> On defense, a senior, number five, Michael Korda. <laughs> and starting in goal, a junior, number one, Andrew Jorgensen. The head coach is Jerry Fleischhacker, his assistant, Enrique Garcia, and Michael Coberta. And now, ladies and gentlemen, oh, first, our officials for today. Our center referee is Larry Guthrie. Assistant referees are Mr. Ferguson and Mr. Grove. The fourth and fifth, fifth officials, Mr. Ramirez and Mr. May. Hi, everybody, and welcome to La Jolla High School for the Division IV hey, Boys Jordan. Soccer Championship game for the city of San Diego. We have the La Jolla Country Day Tories against the Santa Fe Christian Eagles. And now the starting lineups for La Jolla Country Day. The goalkeeper, Andrew Jorgensen. Michael Cobrata, number five. Number six, Taylor Allen Lee. Number nine, Mark Liskovich. Number 10, Jesse Kobernick. Number 11, John Hillman. Number 13, Eli Sumek. Number 16, Mark Jordan. Number 17, Garth Houston. Number 18, John Buza. Number 23, Boudouan Gauthier, number 46, Luke Byland, 
Number 21, Patrick Christie. We have four games. Number 51, Will Hagen. Number 14, Saturday. JT Levine. Here's number 42, up. Brian Davis. Coming up at number 45, Felix Division Lopez. Three, number 15, Andrew Augustus. Migdahl. Number 19, Michael Sala. And zero, Central the alternate Central goalkeeper is John Norenberg. Head coach, Jerry Fleischucker. Assistant coaches, Enrique Garcia and Michael Cabral. Starting lineup for the Santa Fe Christian Eagles. Scoring red today. The goalkeeper, Justin Kern. Number two, John Corison. Number three, Ben Corison. Number four, Joe Bruner. Number five, Jeremiah Young. Number six, Alex Peltier. Number seven, Greg Wright. Number eight, Dustin McBride. Number nine, Mac Rogers. Number 10, David Myers. Number 11, Brian Fritz. Number 13, Jeff Robertson. Number 14, Blake Schelke. Number 15, Jay Freeman. Number 16, Bryce McFerrin. Number 17, Will Simons. Number 19, Cody Rikers. And number 12, Brandon Resch. Head coach Paul Lyons in his third year. So we're about to get underway and the action has begun. It's a beautiful day here in La Jolla, California. A very nice looking field. The grass in perfect condition. And La Jolla Country Day has taken control of the ball here on offense to start this game. That ball trickles out of bounds. And the reason the grass looks so good is because it's turf. <laughs> That ball goes into midfield. We've got to scramble for it. Action unfolding there. And Santa Fe Christian tries to control the ball with some nice footwork by Mark Jordan of La Jolla Country Day out in the middle of the field. Great play. So both teams made it through all the brackets. They made it through the playoff games in the semifinals. Santa Fe Christian Eagles, of course, playing that epic game against the Bishop Knights. We went through regulation, two overtime periods, one shootout, and then the one-on-one -on -one shootout where Greg Wright put his team up with a shot on the net, and they were able to hold on and win that game over the Knights. La Jolla Country Day, of course, got by Holtville earlier that day to wind up here in this championship game. Both teams playing at a really quick pace here today. That ball saved from going out of bounds. A nice play there by Dustin McBride. Mac Rogers controlling the ball. A little kick there on the shin. He seems to be okay. Walks it off a little bit. Called on the play. Free kick. Santa Fe Christian. And Santa Fe Christian will have the free kick. He did. He took one that looked like to be in the left shin. Seems to be okay. Looks downfield, tries to find a teammate. He kicked the ball to. There it goes towards the net, into the center. And it goes off to the side. It was headed actually by La Jolla Country Day. They had about four guys there. There was one red shirt in the mix. He wasn't able to get to it. We're just underway here in La Jolla. The Division IV Championship game. And now we'll have a corner kick for the Eagles. Goes towards the net, a little bit long and wide, and it goes out of bounds. And the ball will belong to La Jolla Country Day. We'll have a goal kick coming up. And we'll see what La Jolla Country Day can do on offense as the start of this game has gone Santa Fe Christian Eagles way. They've controlled most of the ball down here on this side putting some pressure on the goalkeeper, Andrew Jorgensen of Country Day. Nice ball handling there by John Hillman, gets past the defender. Nice cross field pass down to number 18, John Busa. He tries to center, but the ball is knocked out of bounds. Still belongs to, to La Jolla Country Day. The Tories, the white shirts with the blue trunks. And John Busa will throw this in. Goes towards the net. And it is controlled by La Jolla Country Day. And that ball is kicked out of bounds into the corner. And it will belong to Santa Fe Christian Eagles. We'll come back the other day, the other way. A little bit different here today. 
during the semifinal game that Santa Fe Christian had, it was rain, it was a wet field. The ball, the game went well into the night. As the game approached a three hour mark. Nice struggle for the ball there by number six, Alex Peltier. As he centers it across field, tries to get it to his teammate. He does, he rebounds the ball. <laughs> Goes right off his chest and back to Alex Peltier. David Myers is there for Santa Fe Christian. Now John Corson touches it. Some nice footwork there by Mac Rogers. Coming across field is Boudouan Gauthier for La Jolla Country Day. He has some nice footwork there on the offensive side of things for La Jolla Country Day. And the ball is going to be scooped up by the goalkeeper, Andrew Jorgensen. Both teams starting to get a nice rhythm for the game. Checking to see what the other team has brought. La Jolla Country Day has never won an outright championship. They co-titled a few years back with uh, Bishop's Knight. They'd like to get one all by themselves here this time. And Santa Fe Christian will have control of this ball. Throw comes in towards midfield. Action of this game shaping up nicely. Both teams keeping the ball in the middle of the field. Looking for a nice strike on net. Cross field comes Alex Peltier for Santa Fe Christian. This ball goes out of bounds off of his foot. Be run down by La Jolla Country Day. The official time is being kept by the referee on the field. Scoreboard time is unofficial. Throwing goes across midfield. A little bit of a collision there between like Brandon Rush and uh, Michael Cabrada of La Jolla Country Day. But no harm, no foul, as they say. And play continued on. Now have a free kick for Santa Fe Christian Eagles. Mac Rogers looks downfield. He finds somebody in the middle. Defended nicely by La Jolla Country Day. Do have one correction. Brandon Rush is wearing number 18 today. He wore number 12 in the semifinal game against Bishops. Ball goes out on the far side of the field. Boudouan Gauthier is there along with number seven, Greg Wright of the Eagles. Greg Wright, of course, had the winning penalty kick in the semifinal game against the Knights. Brought his team to victory, allowed them to be showcased here in today's championship game. And now the Tories control the ball. They had the numbers, but the outlet pass was just a little bit too far. And Santa Fe Christian took advantage of it. John Corson sends the ball downfield. And now we've got a Santa Fe Christian player down on the far end of the field. He was tripped up. And so he stopped play here. His teammate Jeff Robertson looks on. And now the trainer will have to come out. He's holding his nose. It looks like he might have had a collision with his face somewhere. Coach Paul Lyons comes out to take a look. And they help him up. That was John Corison on the ground. And we're ready to start play again. Here comes a free kick for the Eagles. Very nice line drive kick towards the net. Scramble for it. We have it on the near side. Is that a bounce thrown in by Santa Fe Christians? Blake Schilke. Santa Fe Christian doing a very good job of keeping the ball down on this end of the field. 
keeping the pressure on Andrew Jorgensen, the goalkeeper for La Jolla Country Day. Both teams set up for the free kick. Here it comes towards the net. It's going to be headed high into the air and it'll go over the bar. Alex Peltier had a shot there to get that ball in the back of the net, but it was too hard. Off the top of his head, it goes right over the bar. So it'll come back the other way, and La Jolla Country Day will have the goal kick as everybody heads towards midfield. Great day for soccer. Very sunny, warm day here in La Jolla. Into the contest for the Tories, number 51, Will Hagen. Will Hagen, number 51, comes into the game for the Tories. And now here comes Santa Fe Christian. They've got some numbers on it, and it goes out of bounds. The kick by David Myers went off the leg. Corner kick, Eagles. Of Eli Sumek of La Jolla Country Day, and it went out of bounds, so we'll have a corner kick for the Eagles. Nice facility here in La Jolla, Gene Edwards Field. Both teams getting into position. And here comes a corner kick. It is in front of the net, and it bounces away from just about everybody and comes out. It is controlled by Santa Fe Christian's Brian Fritz. He centers it, and the ball is knocked way out of bounds into the corner by La Jolla Country Day. Goal kick. La Jolla Country Day. So some nice defense there by the Tories. And Santa Fe Christian will fall back now. In the center of the action, you have Garth Houston for the Tories. Tried to get his foot on the ball. This one will roll out of bounds off the foot of John Buza of the Tories being chased down by David Myers. One has to wonder how badly Santa Fe Christian really wants this after that last game that they won. They love to take the championship home. Their previous game against the Knights was one of the best games we've seen in quite some time. And now La Jolla Country Day tries to put some pressure down on the other end of the field. John Hillman tried to control the ball in offense, but he ran into about five red shirts. And the Tories have a free kick. Here it comes, number 23. Boudouin Gauthier with the ball. He tries to send a cross field pass, and it is run down by his teammate. Control it in the center. Eli Sumek tried to have a nice shot there, but went off the side of his foot and rolls goal out kick. of bounds. Santa Fe Christian. And Santa Fe Christian now will have the goal kick. Nobody scored here. We're just into the first half of play in this championship game for the Division IV boys soccer. La Jolla Country Day's got a shot on the goal. Here comes Gauthier. His shot is just a little bit wide to the right. He had an angle there. Justin Curran had come out a little bit. He just couldn't get it there. It's a nice shot, though, by Boudouin Gauthier. Bet he wishes he had that one over again. And so Santa Fe Christian will dodge the bullet there. And that was the really first, the real first serious shot that any of these two teams have had on the net. And the Tories weren't satisfied. They keep the ball down here. They'd like to get another one. And there's Boudouin roaming the side, looking to get another shot. Justin Kern will kick this ball towards midfield. Nice high kick. It rolls out of bounds untouched. As David Myers was there, he just couldn't catch up to it. Ball comes back in. And the 
Tories will now have a chance to go back on offense. Santa Fe Christian Eagles, they controlled the tone of the game to start out, but lately here the last few minutes, the Hoya Country Days offense has really come on. Mark Liskovich with the ball. He sends that off to number 14. He tried to get a shot on the net. He just could do it. Nice defense there by Ben Corson of the Santa Fe Christian Eagles as he stopped John Hillman from trying to score on that play. Thanked by his goalkeeper, Justin Kern, as Ben Corson came over and stopped the momentum there on that play. Nice play. Oh, both guys go up for that one and they had a collision there. And down on the ground is Will Simons for the Eagles. Gets up, but he's a little shaken. Greg Wright is there now. Mac Rogers comes over to defend. It's kicked towards the net, but goes off to the side. Be run down by Mac Rogers. It was a very harsh collision that we had there towards midfield. And Will Simons got up, though. Seemed to be okay. As we await the goal kick for the Eagles. David Myers looks on. Nice footwork. Garth Houston. Ball go towards the net. Cleared out and go off at number 17, Garth Houston. Okay. Eagles. Justin Kern will walk behind the net to pick up the spare ball. Kicks it over to Ben Corson. As he sets up now for the goal kick. I'm Ken Gonzalez for George Langevin Productions. We're proud to bring you this championship game. Here from La Jolla. La Jolla Country Day Tories against the Santa Fe Christian Eagles. We have no score about halfway through the first half of this one. Nice crowd on hand today. Support both of these teams who've made it this far. Remember the Tories defeated Holtville to get here. Looking for their first outright championship. Play starts to develop there in the middle of the field. Both teams doing an excellent job of controlling the ball, controlling the pace. They're not letting one team dictate what the other team is going to do. The shot on the net, but it's a little bit too far out. And right there was Justin Kern. Never much of a threat. Boudouin Gauthier was there lurking around on the near side, waiting for the ball to come off of uh, Justin's leg. But it didn't as he grabbed it. It was a nice play. We'll see which team strikes first here. Each team has had one really good shot on the net. John Corson now comes in. Alex Peltier tries to defend the throw in. Jeff Robertson throws it in. A little bit high, right over the head of Alex Peltier as he went up high to try to head that ball. And it rolls out of bounds behind the net. And Andrew Jorgensen will look downfield here as he has the goal kick. Alex Peltier watches this ball head towards the sideline. Nearly goes out of bounds, saved by Mark Liskovich now with the ball. John Corson finds a teammate. He'll throw the ball in to Brian Fritz. Action going on in the near, on the far corner of the field now. Nice shot by Santa Fe Christian, but high in the air goes Andrew Jorgensen to handle that ball. 
and he'll roll it out towards midfield. The offense for La Jolla Country Day seems <clears throat> fairly spread out. They haven't been able to do much passing of the ball. Nice play by John Corson. He and Alex Peltier down there giving it their all. And now the Tories back on offense as they aggressively bring the ball down towards the net. And a little bit of a struggle down there on the far side as both guys are tangled up. The whistle, the, the ball does belong to La Jolla Country Day. No score here. Will Hagen down there in the bottom of your screen. Nice kick towards the net, but it goes right into the hands of Justin Kern as he saves that one from going through. The free kick attempted and pulled in by... That was Justin Eli Kern. Sumick that had the attempt on that kick. It's a nice play by Justin Kern. Picking up where he left off the other night. He saved quite a few goals from going in late in regulation against the Knights. Allowed his team to stay even, go into regulation, and eventually win the game. On that penalty kick by Greg Wright. Kern comes out, he leaves the net wide open, but it's going to be stopped there by John Corson. So he made a, a calculated move there, and it was almost a costly mistake as he came out. Misjudged the ball, couldn't grab it in time. And the Tories had a shot on that, but just couldn't get there quick enough. And now Alex Peltier runs this ball down on the far side. The Eagles would like to score here. Two Eagles, though, in between four Country Day defenders. Just didn't have the numbers there on that one. The Tories do a very fine job of heading the ball. Nice little battle going on there on the far side. Mark Jordan there amongst the action. The ball roll out of bounds. Mac Rogers looks on as his team And it looks like Brendan Rush might have a bloody nose there in your screen as he took one right in the face on that last series. Number 17, Will Simons into the contest for Santa Fe Christian. Will Simons now comes in. In for La Jolla Country Day. Number 10, Michael Stella. And Jesse Kobernick comes in for La Jolla Country Day. Goal kick. Tori. Just about 17 minutes to go here in the first half. As you can see, nobody has scored yet. We have a goal kick coming up for La Jolla Country Day. That ball goes out of bounds. So each team being very deliberate when they have the ball. Looks like it's shaping up to be one of those games where the winning score is maybe one to nothing or two to one. Boudouin Gauthier gets past a couple of defenders. Nice play there for the Tory. Has the ball taken away. It'll be a free kick going towards the Eagles. Free kick Eagles. Nice kick on the side, saved there by the Eagles, but taken away by number 10, Jesse Kobernick. He tried to get some angles downfield, but the ball goes out of bounds. Greg Wright runs that down, way down in the corner.
He'll bring it back for the throw in. Now he awaits both teams to get set. Number four, Joe Brunner into the contest for Santa Fe Christian. Joe Bruner, number four for the Eagles, comes into the game. The Eagles' John Corson controls the ball, sends it off to the far side. Goes out of bounds right at the feet of Coach Paul Lyons. He's in his third year coaching the Santa Fe Christian Eagles. Number 17 will come off the field. Garth nine, Houston coming in now will be Mark Liskovich and John Buza. Both teams playing like this is a championship game. Feeling each other out, trying to get a feel for what the other team is going to do. Very deliberate in their offense, spreading out the defense. John Corson with a nice running Athletic kick. Trainer Sends it back down towards the other net. Bench, please. Andrew Jorgensen looking on. He's going to see some action right here. Santa Fe Christian keeps the ball down on this side of the field, putting the pressure on. They haven't had it down here for a while. Off into the corner on the far side. Here comes a kick towards the net. It's high into the air, just wide, and we're going to have a whistle as we have another collision between two players and it's an offside. Free kick Tories. So the Tories will have a free kick. So it looks like Santa Fe Christian now has settled into their offense. They know what they want to do. They were very active on that possession right there. We'll see if they continue to put that, court, <clears throat> that kind of pressure on Andrew Jorgensen, the goalkeeper for the Tories. A little bit of a push in the back. As John Hillman goes down, he'll have the free kick. John Corison for the Eagles there. On the left side of your screen. There goes the kick. It's towards the net. Far kick. Right into a sea of red. As Santa Fe Christian brings it back the other way across midfield. Now they do set up their offense. John Corson streaking down the side of the field, but he's not going to have the numbers there. And coming up from the goal is Andrew Jorgensen to grab that one. He made sure that Santa Fe Christian wasn't able to develop anything on offense. Grabbed the ball and booms it back the other way. Nice kick across midfield. Battle for the ball there as Dustin McBride had a defender around him. Now the Tories control the ball. Jesse Kobernick, right there in the middle of the field. He controls the ball, passes it off, just a little bit long, tried to get it to his teammate, just couldn't get there in time. Again, the score is 0-0, neither team has crossed the net. Nice battle going on there on the far side of the field. The ball will belong to the Eagles. There goes Joe Bruner coming off the field now for the Eagles. Being replaced by Brendan Rush. Greg Wright looks on. That ball headed out of bounds by the Tories. They have another throw in for the Eagles. Nice kick towards the net, but it's just a little bit long. He had David Myers there on the side, but he just didn't have the angle towards the net and it went out of bounds. And we'll have a goal kick coming up for the Tories. Somewhere on the other side of the field, the goalkeeper Justin Kern is there. As the action has been on this side of the field for the past 10, 12 minutes. I'm sure Justin is just fine with that. And 
now here comes the Tories across field, mounting a serious threat here, but it's taken away by the Eagles. Eagles defense not allowing the Tories to get down towards the net. They've done a fine job here this afternoon. A slide there and the ball goes out of bounds. It'll belong to the Eagles. Alex Peltier brings it back. They try to center it there in front of the net. The Loyal Hunk <clears throat> La Jolla Country Day defense has been stingy as well. That ball is shot into the corner towards the net, but it's taken out and towards midfield by La Jolla Country Day. They didn't want that ball anywhere near the net, and they cleared it. Some nice play going on there. Nice footwork by Greg Wright as he controls the ball. Again, Santa Fe Christian has a shot on the net, but, but it's been taken quite a ways out. And by the time it reaches Andrew Jorgensen, it's becoming quite easy for him to scoop that ball up. Santa Fe Christian waiting to get a closer shot. Maybe get a nice angle on the right or left side. Nice job by Axe Peltier to get away from a couple of those defenders. He'll run the ball down again, he slide kicks it. It'll go right to the goalkeeper, Andrew Jorgensen, as he collects the ball on the left side of the goal. He looks down, tries to find an open pocket of his teammates. Nice play there by Jesse Kobernick for the Tories. His ball rolls on the far side. Save from going out of bounds, John Corison. Andrew Jorgensen comes out, picks the ball up, and he'll kick it towards the other end. David Myers with a nice head. And Mac Rogers. And now here come the Tories on offense. Again, just not quite there. They don't seem to have the numbers on offense. Once they take control of the ball on this side of the field, there are four or five Eagle defenders there. They just aren't able to, to muster anything towards the other net. So the defense for the Eagles making the life of Justin Kern very easy back there. As he defends the opening to the net. Ball goes out of bounds off of Eli Sumek. And the Eagles will have the throw in. Play's been kept over there on the far side of the field. Where most of the action has been. Neither team allowing the other one too much. Alex Peltier sends this ball far out of balance, well over the net. Didn't have a good angle there. As the defense for La Jolla Country Day came out and cut off all the angle that he might have had. John Busa will come out and replacing him will be Garth Houston for the Tories. Houston did a fine job while he was in there. Garth Houston in for La Jolla Country Day. Nice kick towards midfield for Jorgensen. And we'll have another whistle. And we'll have a free Final kick for the Tories. Tories. No score here as we come to about seven minutes or so remaining here in the first half of this game. The winner will take home the Division Four Championship. Here on the near side of the field, Country Day controls the ball. So you look towards midfield. Nice shot on the net, it goes high and above the bar. So the Tories.
Hayes had a first shot there on the net. That was John Hillman. He was right in front of the net. He had a great look. The ball just a little bit too powerful off his foot and soared well over the bar. As Justin Kern just looked up and watched that one sail right over his head. The Tories will have a kick now in the corner. Boudouin Gauthier will take it on the far side. He watches his team set up. Was heading for the ball, but held up as he waited for his teammate Mark Liskovich to come into the fold. And now here comes the corner kick. It's high into the air. It's into the center. The scramble for it in the middle, and the Eagles will come up for it. Nice defense by the Santa Fe Christian Eagles as they didn't allow the Tories to have a shot on the net after the corner kick. John Corson tries to control the ball here on the near side. And we'll have a trip and a free kick coming this way for the Eagles. Eagles in all red. Ben Corson kicks it downfield. Nice header there by Mark Liskovich. Boudouin Gauthier with the ball, tries to get around the defender. Greg Wright. Greg Wright does a great job of stopping his momentum. Nice play there by Boudouin. His teammate takes over now, Garth Houston. He has the ball stolen by Greg Wright. The action heating up here in the middle of the field. And the Eagles will control the ball just over midfield. It goes back the other way now. The Tories mount some offense. Controlled by Boudouin Gauthier, tries to send it to the middle of the field. Here on the near side as Jesse Kobernick looks on. That ball goes out of bounds off the back. Like Andrew Migdahl, couldn't quite get the number from up here. And we have a goal kick coming up now for the Eagles. Both teams head towards the midfield. For La Jolla, Country Day number 15, Andrew Migdahl. And that was Andrew Migdahl. He had the ball go off his back and out of bounds. And the goal kick is saved from going out of bounds. Nice play there by Mac Rogers. Ball out in the middle of the field. Both teams struggling for possession. Both teams showcasing their defense, not allowing the other team to do much on the offensive side of things. And now here come the Eagles with a threat. On the right side is a shot, it goes off the defender for the Tories. Again, they cut off that angle and the Eagles just weren't able to get by it. And they ran out of room and the ball skipped out of bounds. Andrew Jorgensen have kept busy here on this side of the field here in the first half. The Tory defense hasn't allowed the Eagles to get a nice clear shot on the net yet. Now we have a corner kick coming up for the Eagles, so they'll set up. They like to strike first, going to halftime with a lead. John Corson sends it towards the net. Defended nicely by La Jolla Country Day. Greg Wright controls the ball for the Eagles. And he tried to find Blake Schilke there on the near side. He was taken away by the Tories and sent across midfield, down towards the opposite net. David Myers looks on here on the side. He takes the, take the ball. He'll have the throw in. Off into the corner. Play starts there, and it goes right into the hands of Andrew Jorgensen. Again, the Tories did a fine job of cutting those angles. Shot on goal attempted by number nine, Mac Rogers. So Mac Rogers was sent away on that one as 
His shot was scooped up by Andrew by Jorgensen. Andrew Jorgensen. Mac Rogers again with the ball. He's been busy here on the near side of the field this afternoon. It seems every time the ball is cleared down to the other net, into the Eagle territory, there aren't many Tories down there to try to do anything with it. It's a good job by the Eagles. That ball is thrown in nicely by Eli Sumek for the Tories. Eagles trying to mount some offense here on the far side. Into the corner, Alex Peltier tries to get around four LaCoya Country Day defenders, and he does. He gets it off to John Corson into the corner. But we've got an offside call. And so we'll have the free kick now awarded to the Tories. Again, neither team has scored. We're at 0-0, first half of the Division IV championship game. We're in La Jolla, California. Battle for the ball there at midfield. Brendan Rush comes up with it. Goes out of bounds off the Tories, run down by David Myers here on the near side. Right in front of the Tory bench. And now here come the Tories on offense. Ball is thrown in by Andrew Migdahl. Torrey set up their offense. Migdahl with the throw in towards the net. And it'll be caught there by Justin Kern. He came out and grabbed the ball before anybody could do anything with it. So nice defensive stand there by the Eagles. And that is it. We played the first half here in La Jolla, California in the Division IV at championship the game. Half, the score, at the half, the there's no score on Ken Gonzalez for George Langevin Productions. Zero. We'll be back with the second half in just a few minutes. And we're back for the start of the second half for the Division IV championship game between the La Jolla Country Day Tories and the Santa Fe Christian Eagles. So the first half ended in a 0-0 tie as both teams worked deliberately, tried to get a feel for one another. Almost a little bit too cautious, I think, on both sides. This is the championship game and there's uh, no room for error. The Tories will start off the second half with the ball as they work to spread the field out. Try to work up the middle of the field. So we've come down to the final 40 minutes here in the season for Division IV boys soccer. And now a little bit of a pressure there on the net by the Tories, but nothing too serious as Justin Kern was able to handle that ball. Boudouin Gauthier there has the ball taken away from him by Greg Wright, the Eagles. It's a nice defensive play. The ball trickles out of bounds. And the wind's starting to pick up here a little bit in La Jolla. Don't foresee that to have any impact on this game. You know, one thing in the back of the minds of the players for the Eagles is that they like to have this one resolved in regulation this time. Remember the semifinal game that they had against the Knights went into two overtime periods and was finally settled on the one-on-one -on -one penalty kicks. Ball being worked towards the net. Back the other way, the ball will belong to the Tories. The 
Eagles seem to be moving at a quick pace here to begin the second half. Nice cross field pass to Will Simons on the side. The Eagles try to set something up in the middle on the far end of the field. Waiting for the ball is Mac Rogers on the bottom of your screen. You'd like to get a shot on the net. Just a couple minutes here into the second half of this game. And both teams working just as they did in the first half, very deliberate. Playing excellent defense. Ball is thrown in by John Hillman for the Tories. And now the Eagles starting to mount some offense here on this end of the field. Shot goes towards the net and just goes off the top bar. It looked like it was going to be wide from this angle, but it did take a piece of the net and bounced out of bounds into the corner. And it looks like we'll have a goal kick coming up for the Tories. As they work it down the near side of the field towards midfield. Eagles take the ball away and continue on offense. The nice play by Mac Rogers. Greg Wright running across the field into the middle. Runs in a little bit of traffic there. Stopped by Mark Jordan of the Tories. That ball is kicked right out of bounds here on the near side by Will Simons. So belong to the Tories. Again, we have no score. I'm Ken Gonzalez for George Langevin Productions, bringing this game to you from La Jolla High School in La Jolla, California. Both teams using all of the field, spreading their offense quite well. A lot of man-to-man -man play. Ball go out into the corner. We're going to have a corner kick coming up for the Eagles. So this will be their first real attempt at the net. No, it looks like it's throwing. Here it comes towards the center. Brendan Rush was there. Has the ball taken away by the Tories, and they're coming down towards midfield and across the field. The ball will be. Picked off there before it could get to look like Garth Houston out there. And now the Eagles again putting pressure on Andrew Jorgensen, the goalkeeper for the Tories. Eagles doing a fine job on offense here, keeping the ball away from the Tory defense. Every time the Tories seem to intercept the ball, they've got one touch on it, and it's taken away by an Eagles defender. Ball being worked on the right side of midfield here. It comes down. Will Simons here on the near side tried to make something happen. Couldn't get a shot on the net. He was in a lot of traffic. There were four Tory defenders in front of him in the net. Mark Liskovich on the near side, providing some defense for the Tories. Again, we still have no score in this Division IV championship game. The Santa Fe Christian Eagles defeated Bishop's Knights in the semifinal game. And the La Jolla Country Day Tories defeated Holtville in their semifinal game. Number 10, Michael Sala, returns to the lineup for the Tories. Again, the Eagles control the ball. Nice cross-field pass. Taken away by number 17 of the Tories, Garth Houston. 
he made a dash towards the net. And the ball will go out of bounds on the far side. Belonging to the Tories. Toss comes in towards the net. Boudin Gauthier working on the far side here in this half. Ball be cleared, kicked towards midfield by Andrew Jorgensen, the goalkeeper for the Tories. Now the Tories playing a little bit keep away from the defense of the Eagles. Nice pass to John Hillman. Nice behind the back pass by Boudin Gauthier. Nice play. Although it was taken away by the Eagles, they weren't fooled on it. Looked good though. Now the Eagles mounting an attack towards the net. It's gonna be stopped there. John Buza in the middle of the things there for the Tories. It's a nice defensive effort there by La Jolla Country Day. So they've stopped the threat there by the Eagles. Andrew Jorgensen came out. His teammates were able to provide him the defense that he needed. Nice play. Will Simons here on the near corner tried to get an angle towards the net, but ran a little bit too deep and didn't have a shot. Ball is cleared over midfield by Mark Liskovich of the Tories. Sooner or later, you get the feeling one of these teams is going to break through. Both teams with stellar defense here this afternoon. Really give an edge to nobody thus far. Yepo gets right by the goalkeeper, Andy Jorgensen, but he goes back to recover it. Nice play. And we're going to have a red card on the goalkeeper, Andrew Jorgensen, as it was a scramble for the ball. And he hindered and he impeded the direction of the Santa Fe Christian Eagle player, as it was going to be an easy goal. And he grabbed him to stop him from making the play. And he's going to be sent off. And John Nornberg will now come in for the goalkeeping duties for La Jolla Country Day. And Andy Jorgensen is not happy about it. So an interesting play develops here. It's a goalkeeper, Andy Jorgensen, for the Tories is sent off. He had a few words Red for the card. official. Issue to number one, Andrew Jorgensen. Going into the game and goal, Luke Bylan. Actually, Luke Byland will now come in, not the reserve goalkeeper, John Nornberg. Penalty kick. So we'll have a penalty kick coming up for the Eagles. This could be the break they were waiting for. Like I said earlier, this game could be decided one to nothing or two to one. It's been that kind of a defensive and offensive struggle here today. Sizes up the goalkeeper for the penalty kick. And here it comes. And it's gonna go right into the back of the net. And the Santa Fe Christian Eagles have scored. They've broken through first here today. Santa Fe Christian goal on the penalty Nice kick shot. Number nine, Mac Rogers, Rogers, number nine for the Santa Fe Christian Eagles. Breaks through and they lead this Division IV championship Eagles game lead. one to nothing. So as Andrew Jorgensen receives the red card and is sent off as a goalkeeper for the Tories, his replacement, Luke Byland, comes in and he's not able to stop the penalty kick off the foot of Mac Rogers. Number 16, Mark and it plays George right into the hands of the Santa Fe the Christian Eagles as they now lead day. one to nothing. And so the pressure is definitely on the Tories here the remainder of this game. We're about a third of the way through the second half of this championship game. So 
So some exciting developments here now in the past few minutes after we've watched the defense and offense go back and forth for about 60 minutes here with no score. The Eagles break through as they look to take home the championship trophy this year. Well, the way this was going, you know it was just a matter of time before one of these teams had a break go their way, and that's, it that might be just what it takes here to crown a champion this afternoon. And now the Tories playing with a little more enthusiasm. They know they're down, so they'd like to keep the pressure on this side of the field. Nice ball handling by Blake Schelke of the Eagles. Ben Corson has the ball taken away from him. So the Eagles struck first, and they'd like to get another one. They lead one to nothing. Now Country Day will have the throw in from out of bounds as that ball trickled off the leg of Actually, it'll belong to the Eagles, as it did go off the leg of number 11, John Hillman. Mac Rogers lurking about around midfield. He scored on that penalty kick to put his team ahead, 1-0. Play resumes off into the far corner. Ben Corson tries to get an angle towards the net. Taken away nicely by the Tories. Nice footwork there by Mark Liskovich on a pass. Running into some trouble, Blake Schelke for the Eagles has the ball taken away. Nice battle going on in the middle of the field. Mark Liskovich is able to handle it, get it off to a teammate. And it goes right back the other way for the Eagles. They take it up midfield, try to set something up on offense. Mac Rogers. Ball goes towards the net, but it's going to be scooped up there by Luke, Luke Byland. As you recall, he replaced Andrew Jorgensen, who was sent off with a red card. Both players go down on the far side. It will belong to the Tories. Eli Sumek will have the free kick. Jeff Robertson watches on. Kick goes towards the net, goes high up and into the air, and it'll go into the net. Nice play, Boudouin. Gauthier was there, and the ball was tipped in by the La Jolla Country Day Tories. And the score has been tied by number 16. Mark Jordan. So it didn't take long for the Tories to come back and tie this game. As they do it off the penalty kick, comes off the foot of Eli Sumek. Handled nicely by Mark Jordan. Boudouin Gauthier was there as well. So just as quickly, we're tied again. Number six, a little bit more than halfway through the second half contest, of this Division IV for, championship game. Or correction, number 15, uh, Andrew Migdahl, so the first 60 for, minutes of this game was a defensive struggle. But both teams have struck quickly now within the next last 16, five minutes. Mark Jordan, assisted by number 18, John Buza. 
time of the goal. John Boozer was there involved in the mix as well on that last goal. This ball trickles right in front of the net. The shot goes off the back of the defender for the poison right into the hands of Luke Bylan. So the Eagles moved the ball nicely in front of the net. They had a couple of shots, just weren't able to have it go in. So the Tories did a good job there on defense. As they just tied this game, they weren't about to go down again. Could we have overtime coming up in this championship game? Nice shot towards the net. And the ball will be shot out of bounds by number 13, Eli Sumek, as he watched his goalkeeper go down, Luke Violent. He was the only one near the play, and he knew he had to get the ball out of there. He quickly recovered and was able to kick the ball out of bounds. So we'll have a corner kick coming up for the Eagles as they set up in front of the net now. Here it comes. And it's cleared by Eli Sumek for the Tories. So again, the Tories push back a threat by the Eagles here on the near side. A shot towards the net, it's wide. Will Simons had an angle, and he shot it towards the net, but it was just wide and off to the left. As you can see the look on his face, he feels he should have had that one. He did have a good angle, maybe just a little bit too far out. But both teams have picked up the intensity here as they've scored. So they've discovered that they can put the ball into the net. We're tied at one. Number 17. Coming down to Our about 10 minutes to go here in the second the half. Day. Struggle for the ball at midfield on the far side. The Eagles recover it and take control. They set it up in the middle. Torrey's trying to clear it towards midfield, but it's taken back by the Eagles. Nice stop, doesn't let that ball go out of bounds as Will Simons, he does have it taken away from him by the Tories. The Tories haven't led this Number game, they trailed one nothing, and they scored and tied the game a few minutes later off the foot of Mark Jordan. Nice kick towards the net. It'll be headed right into the hands of Justin Kern for the Eagles. He'll roll the ball out. And we'll have a whistle and a stop in the action. The ball will belong to the Tories, they'll have a free kick. Brian Fritz was in on the action for the Eagles. Actually, the free kick will go to the Eagles. It'll be taken by Mac Rogers. He has Greg Wright on his left. Kick goes towards the net. Handled nicely by the Eagles, but goes right into the hands of Luke Byland. Of course, Mac Rogers started the scoring here this afternoon with a goal about 10, 12 minutes ago. Put his team up briefly. The Tories did come back. Will Simons here on the near side into the corner. Centers it. Alex Pelletier trying to get an angle. He has a shot towards the net, but it's headed out nicely by the Tories. Right to Will Simons. He's got two defenders between him. The ball goes out of bounds. Goal kick. And we'll have a goal kick coming up for the Tories. So the Eagles now with the score tied at one doing a good job of keeping the pressure down on this end of the field. Keeping Luke Byland on his toes right in front of the net.
Kick goes high and across midfield. Strong kick. Ball is controlled by the Eagles. Alex Peltier gets it off to his teammate Ben Corris and a little bit of a push to the back, but nothing called. The ball go down deep into the territory of the Eagles towards their defended net. Ben Corison comes out with it. Nice cross field pass. So now the ball is being worked on the far side of the field. Right in front of the Eagles bench. Mac Rogers. Greg right now looks upfield here on the near side. Tries to get it to Alex Peltier and he does. He controls it. Back over to Rogers. And that ball will go out of bounds. Mac Rogers thought one of his teammates was going to break towards the corner. It didn't happen. The ball was kicked long. So the goal kick now coming up for the Tories. Number 13, Jeff Robertson back into the contest for Santa Fe Christian. Jeff Robertson comes into the game for the Eagles. Eagles again on the far side, try to get an angle. Alex Peltier. Here's Mac Rogers. Ball trickles right into the hands of Luke Byland. So the Eagles weren't able to mount a serious threat there. This game tied at one. The way things are going, overtime is a real, real, real good possibility. Nice stop by the defender for the for the Tories. Ball is cleared across midfield and go right into the hands of Justin Kern, the goalkeeper for the Eagles. Kick comes high and across midfield. Got a stop in play, and the, we'll have a over there on the far side of the field a free kick coming up for the Tories. Alex Peltier looked on. Ben Corison with a nice header gets it off to his teammate. Brendan Rush. Now the action moves here to the near side of the field. It'll go out of bounds in the corner. And we'll have a goal kick for the Eagles. Both teams slowing just a little bit. Maybe the fatigue is starting to be a factor here late in the second half of regulation. Both teams have scored a goal. We're tied at one. Nice header by Mark Jordan for the Tories. Sends the ball back deep into the territory defended by the Eagles. They recover nicely and send the ball back the other way. On the far side, into the corner. They try to find an angle, and the ball is kicked right into the hands of Luke Bylan. He came out for the net and made a good stop. Alex Peltier was there, hoping to get a shot on the net, but the ball went right into the hands of Bylan. Far side of the field for the Tories, Taylor Allen Lee. Oh, we're going to get a whistle. That's going to be a, a yellow card warning there on the Tories. He came right from behind and took the feet right out from underneath. Looks like Brian Fritz there on the far side. So he'll have the free kick. Nice 
official holds things up here. We get some substitutions coming in. And it'll be Ben Corson taking the free kick. As Brian Fritz looks on, there he comes towards the net. Into the contest for Jorge Country Day. Controlled by the Tories. Now the Tories making a break towards the net. As three defenders, Ben Corson is there, Mac Rogers, and Brian Fritz, they take the ball away. So the Tories just didn't have the numbers there on that end of the field, and the ball was taken away, and it comes back the Eagles. Possession, Alex Peltier here on the near side into the corner, has the ball kicked away. Will Simons runs it down. And we're gonna have another substitution coming in for the Eagles. John Corson now comes back in as he marches towards the near side and he'll take the throw in. For La Jolla Country Day, number six, Taylor Allen Lee. Here it comes towards the net. There's a scramble right in front. Ball bounces around off of a couple of players. A kick goes towards the net and it's going to be wide to the left. Put a left-handed boot there. Went wide and Luke Bylan will chase it down. So we'll have a goal kick coming up for the Tories. As the clock continues to wind down here in this Division IV championship game, we're tied at one. I'm Ken Gonzalez for George Langevin Productions. We're at La Jolla High School, La Jolla, California. Beautiful sunny day. Number 23, Fadoin Gauthier returns for La Jolla Country Day. Fadoin Gauthier now back into the game for the Tories. Ladies and gentlemen, we he have a, a little bit of a breather from the girls Division II championship game. It's early in the second half. The score of Grossmont 2, Valhalla 0. And just comes into the game, Gauthier gets, his, gets into the action, takes the ball away, nice play as he worked towards the middle of the field. Mac Rogers was there and he brings it back the other way for the Eagles. Far shot out towards the net, it's gonna be headed right in front but it'll go wide to the right. So the Eagles tried the quick score. Number two, John Corson. John Corson on the header. Country Day. It goes off to the right. And Luke Byland will bring it in. So Luke has done a pretty good job since he's come in to replace Andrew Jorgensen. He did allow that penalty kick to go in, but he's made some fine stops since then. Both teams fight for control of the ball around midfield. Alex Peltier there tries to run it down, but it was a little too strong for him. And again, Luke Violin scoops it up. Mac Rogers controls it for the Eagles. His pass just gets by Alex Peltier. Ben Corson now. Now the Eagles mounting a threat on the far side of the field. Robertson in the middle. Ball roll out of bounds and it will belong to the Tories so they'll send it back the other way. They'd like to take the pressure off their goalkeeper, Luke Bylan. And put some of that pressure off to Justin Kern on the other side. Number nine, Mark Vizkiewicz and number 10, Michael Sala into the contest for La Jolla Country Day. The 
Eagles will have the throw in here on the near side. Into the corner towards Alex Peltier. Tries to get around two defenders, but just can't do it. Goal kick. The ball will roll out of bounds, and it'll be a goal kick. So each team trying to push through here late in the second half. We're tied at one. The Eagles scoring on the penalty kick. And the game being tied up by Mark Jordan a few minutes later. As he handled the free kick. By Eli Sumek. And that's all the scoring that we've had. The ball comes down on the far side of the field. He does get away from two defenders. He's going to be held up. Tries to get an angle right in front of the net. It's going to go right between the legs of the La Jolla, La Jolla Country Day player. And out of the net will come Justin Kern to chase this ball down. And he'll get a yellow card warning. We've got a man down for the Tories. It's going to be number nine. Mark Liskovich still rolls around there on the ground. But he had his feet taken out from him by the goalkeeper of all people way out here. So Justin Kern to pick up the warning. But there was a mad scramble right in front of the net. The Eagles were able to hold on. The game is still tied. Santa Fe Christian. Eli Sumek here on the near side. Country Day. We'll have the kick. Here it comes towards the net. Right into the hands. Off the free kick. Attempted by number 13, Eli Sumek. Tyler Baldridge made the save. Tyler Baldridge now the goalkeeper for the Eagles. As Jesse Kern has to sit out for a few minutes after receiving that yellow card. Boudouin Gauthier chases this ball down here on the near side. He looks for an angle. Tries to find a teammate downfield. He does. Nice footwork going on. And Ball goes out of bounds as Will Simons was there to defend. And so now the momentum has shifted just a little bit as the Eagles had all the pressure on the other end of the field for a few minutes. Now it's been the La Jolla Country Day Tories putting the pressure on the goalkeeper for the Eagles. Eli Sumek on the throw in. Here it comes towards the net. Headed nicely in front of the net. Eli Sumek watches that one. That kick goes well wide to the right. So the Tories are turned away. And we're winding down here, regulation, for this championship game. And so Tyler Baldridge, who filled in nicely for Justin Kern, will Back come out. For Santa Fe Christian, uh, Justin Kern. And Justin Kern, we see him trot back in. So he served his time on that yellow card. Free kick coming up now for the Eagles. Looks like Mac Rogers there. Brian Fritz. Greg Wright. And it's taken by John Corson. Now the action moves on to this side of the field on the far end. The Eagles doing a good job. The ball is cleared out, goes out to number nine, Mark Liskovich. Recovered well after that spill he took. Tries to get an angle to get away from the defender, but it's taken away nicely there by Corison. Jeff Robertson providing some defense there for the Eagles as he stops the momentum of the Tories. like Eli Sumek will take the free kick. I 
Alex Pelletier looks on. He's hoping to get another shot on the net. Ball comes towards the net, headed high into the corner and into the back of the net by Boudouin Gauthier, and he breaks the tie. And so now the La Jolla Country Day Tories have taken the lead two to one late in the second half of this Division IV championship game. Again, off the foot of Eli Sumik on the free kick. And Boudouin Gauthier, number 23 for the Tories, takes advantage and booms it into the back of the net. Just out of the reach of the goalkeeper, Justin Kern of the Eagles. And now the Eagles have to play catch up late here in the half. As we're under five minutes to go, and that could be the game safe. The game shot right there for the Tories as they lead two to one. Ohio Country Day goal scored by number 23. And now the Bravo Eagles Country quickly Day. back on offense. As they know the clock is against them, they've got to get a score quickly. Number nine, Mark ben Corson. Time of the goal, 71-39. Now Alex Peltier looks feverishly for an open man on the far side of the field. Nice pass in the far corner. It's going to be shot way high. A little bit too much on that kick. If he would have just taken it a few more yards, it's set up. He might have had a good angle there. So Luke Byland, who's come in for the original goalkeeper, Andy Jorgensen, remember, was sent away on the red card. And on that penalty kick associated with that red card, Luke Byland allowed the ball into the net for a score. But he hasn't allowed anything since. And the Eagles trail this one two to one. A goal kick coming up for the Tories. We're late into this game. Both teams leaving it all out in the field. But right now, the Santa Fe Christian Eagles know that the pressure is on them as they trail two to one. There's Will Simons here on the near side. He'd like to get a shot. This ball will roll out of bounds. Chased feverishly by Corison. And he's got to get it back in quickly. So that clock is running. Looks downfield. The throw comes in. Played by Mac Rogers. Gets it back to Corson. Nice cross field pass. They've got to hurry, though. They spread out the offense. Brennan Rush has the ball taken away from him in the middle of the field. Nice pass downfield into the far corner. Struggle for the ball. And it's taken by the Tories. Right now, the Tories would just like to play keep away for a few minutes. As they do clear it past midfield, taken there by Ben Corison. Brendan Rush. Nice shot towards the net, and he's going to lead him just a little bit too far. He had Joe Bruner Be there. Be sure to pick up your CIF championship souvenirs at the front gate. T-shirts. So they had a slight sleeve, shot butcher. there on the net, but they were too Cut far the out, the Eagles were. On site. Division championship tr Bruner just couldn't get there in time. After each game. And now the out. goal kick coming up for... The La Jolla Country Again, Day Tories is in this game, two to one. Kukulski Brothers, the official souvenir distributor. Again, this ball goes out of bounds. The Tories are happy with that as they watch more time click off the clock. Of today's championship over by the ticket window at the front gate. We try to get a shot of the, the clock there. Time is running very low here for the Eagles. Throw in here on the near side. Alex Peltier turns towards the net, tries to center it. And has the ball taken away briefly, but recovers. Up, a little bit of a scuffle going on there. 
Tempers flaring just a bit as we come down towards the end of this Division IV championship game. The Tories lead it two to one. As they bring the pace slowly down to the wire. Eli Sumek looks downfield in the free kick. Sends it well into Eagle territory. Alex Peltier struggles there with the defender. We're gonna have a whistle. And it's gonna go against the Eagles. So the Tories will have another free kick. They're doing a good job of keeping the ball away from their goalkeeper, Luke Byland. That's all he asked for as he leads this game two to one. As a few minutes ago, La Jolla Country Day took their first lead of the game. A score by Boudouin Gauthier. Again, the, roll, the ball rolls out of bounds on the far side. Torrey's bring it in, touched by Mark Liskovich. Corson with a header off to Greg Wright. He looks upfield, tries to find somebody open on the side. Alex Peltier in the far corner. He's trying to outrun his man, get an angle. He's got a nice shot on the net, and it go wide and high. So the Eagles not able to capitalize there, and the Tories breathe a sigh of relief as they still lead it two to one. Kick comes high into the center. Greg Wright with the header. Run down by Brian Fritz off to Corison. He looks upfield, passes the ball nicely. Alex Peltier is there, but it's taken away by the Tories. And we've got to stop and play. The ball belongs to the Once Eagles. Again, this reminder that the Time on the Put back into is play. is unofficial. The official time being kept on the field by the head referee. The Eagles working quickly. They know they don't have much time. They trail two to one. Greg Wright tries nice cross field pass, but it's taken away by Andrew Migdahl of the Tories. Nice shot of the Tory bench here on the near side. They can sense the championship if they hold this lead. This could be their first outright soccer championship. A few years back, they co-titled it. Number 36, Patrick Christie returns to the Tories lineup. For the Tories, Patrick Christie, number 36, comes back in for the final moments of play. Rogers on the free kick here in the near side. Looks downfield. Very strong kick down the sideline. Tries to find Alex Peltier. He does with his back towards the net. Works it to the corner, but there are two defenders there. And they push him out. Andrew Migdahl was there. Now the Eagles will have a throw in. This is their shot. Right here, it goes towards the net. It's high into the air, and it's headed out. Saved by Santa Fe Christian. And that's it. That is it. The game is over. And the La Jolla Country Day Tories have taken the boys' Division IV soccer title as they defeat the Santa Fe Christian Eagles 2-1 to one in a hard-fought game here in La Jolla. The La Jolla Country Day Tories have taken their first outright soccer championship. The first half of this game was held scoreless. The Santa Fe Christian Eagles pushed first as they took the lead, and one to nothing on a penalty kick. The but the next two goals were scored by the La Jolla Country Day Tories. First one by Mark Jordan, the second one, the winning goal scored by Boudouin Gauthier. So on a very sunny day here in La Jolla, California, the La Jolla Country Day Tories have defeated the Santa Fe Christian Eagles by a score of two to one in a hard fought one.
I'm Ken Gonzalez for George Langevin Productions. We hope that you'd enjoyed this afternoon's game. And until next time, we'll see you then. Gentlemen, we draw your attention to the center of the field for the presentation of awards to our Division IV championship game participants. The awards first to the runners up, the Eagles of Santa Fe Christian. Making the award presentation, CIF Assistant Commissioner Bill McLaughlin, along with Santa Fe Christian Headmaster Jim Hobson, Principal Barrett Lukedic. Introducing the Eagles players. Number eight, Dustin McBride. Number nine, Mac Rogers. Number two, John Corison. Number 17, Will Simons. Number six, Alex Peltier. Number five, Jeremiah Young. Number 11, Brian Fritz. Number 13, Jeff Robertson. Number four, Joe Brunner. Number 15, Jay Freeman. Number 10, David Myers. Number three, Ben Corison. Number 18, Brendan Resch. Number seven, Greg Wright. Number 19, Corey Rikers. Number 16, Bryce McFerrin. Number 14, Black Shelke. Goalkeeper, Justin Kern. Goalkeeper, Tyler Baldridge. And receive the runner up award, the head coach of the Eagles, Mr. Paul Lyons. <laughs> Pursuing victory with honor is an operating principle of the CIF and the San Diego section. Today, the coaches, the tournament directors, the officials, and the commissioners honor a player who competed with dignity and respect for his opponent, his team, and his community. Receiving this sportsmanship award for Santa Fe Christian, Ben Corison. Gentlemen, the runners up in 2003, the Eagles of Santa Fe Christian. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we draw your attention to the near side for the presentation of awards.
to our 2003 champion, Tories of La Jolla Country Day School. Here are the Tories. Number one, Andrew Jorgensen. Presenting the awards, Athletic Director Jeff Hutzler and Principal Mary Ann Brower. Number five, Michael Kopdra. Number six, Taylor Allen Lee. Number nine, Mark Wiskevich. Number 10, Michael Sala. Number 11, John Hillman. Number 12, Jesse Kobernick. Number 13, Eli Sumek. Number 14, JT Levin. Number 15, Andrew McDowell. Number 16, Mark Jordan. Number 17, Garv Hustran. Number 18, John Buza. Number 36, Patrick Christie. Number 23, Adorn Gautier. Number 24, David Smith. Number 37, Brian Davis. Number 45, Felix Lopez. Number 26, Luke Byland. Number 51, Will Hagen. Injured player, Ted Lynn. Assistant coaches, Enrique Garcia and Michael Kopja. And receive the award, the head coach of the 2003 champions, Jerry Fleischacher. And selected to receive the Sportsmanship Award for his demonstration of the principles of competition with honor for La Jolla Country Day, Mark Liskevich. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the 2003 Division IV champions, the Tories of the La Jolla Country Day School. Coming up in just short of a half hour, the Division Three Championship game between St. Augustine and Tony Loma. Congratulations to both La Jolla Country Day and Santa Fe Christian for a well-played Division Four championship. <laughs>